What if? That's the place where every dream begins. What if a kid from Florida became a stand-up hybrid quarterback in high school? What if he became a two-time college champion? What if he was destined to become a generational, game-changing quarterback in the NFL? I'm Steven Jackson, and in this episode of Legends, we look back at the career of Tommy Frazier, one of the most decorated college quarterbacks of all time. And we ask ourselves, what if? Tommy James Frazier Jr. was born on July 16, 1974, in Brandon 10, Florida. He attended Manatee High School, where he was a star athlete, and football was his passion. In his final two years at Manatee, Tommy blew people's mind, a running quarterback. Tommy accounted for 63 touchdowns. He threw for 2,600 yards. He ran for 1,600 more. And as a senior, Tommy earned USA Today's All-American honors. He was recruited by schools across the country. Ultimately, he chose Nebraska. Under coach Tom Osborne, Nebraska had been one of the most successful programs of the past 30 years. But by 1992, they had spent the past five seasons losing in bowl games. Osborne needed something special to get the Corn Huskers back to winning. He got it in Tommy Frazier. As a freshman, Frazier took over at quarterback six games into the season, and his impact was immediate. He ran for three touchdowns to beat Missouri. He threw two touchdowns a week later to beat number eight, Colorado. He threw three touchdowns to beat number 13, Kansas, the game after that. By the end of the season, Nebraska were once again the champions of the Big 8 Conference. The Cornhuskers lost in the Orange Bowl, but two things were clear. First, Nebraska was back. Second, the quarterback was a sensation. The 1993 season, the Cornhuskers rolled. And as they did, they rose in the rankings after Tommy ripped off 37-yard touchdown run and threw for two more scores against Missouri, Nebraska was 7-0 and number five in the nation. Frazier injured his shoulder against number 20, Colorado, but not even that could slow him down. The season ended with Tommy and Nebraska facing off against Florida State in the Orange Bowl once again. This time, it was for the national championship. With Nebraska trailing 18 to 16 and under a minute to go, Tommy drove the Cornhuskers down the field, getting the team in range for a game-winning field goal. Florida State and to give Cinderella Nebraska a tremendous win and a national championship. And he hooked and left. Florida State wins. Nebraska had lost. But in a tribute to how well he played, Tommy was named the game's MVP. The 1994 season was set to be a coming out party for Tommy. He entered the year as a Heisman front runner, and Nebraska looked like a team destined for a national championship. Then came week four. It was a blowout, a 70 to 21 win over Pacific. But Tommy had left the game after the ninth play with pain in his right leg. At first, doctors said it was a calf bruise. Further tests revealed a blood clot in Tommy's leg. His season, his college career, and his life were in jeopardy. Weeks passed. Nebraska managed to win without him, capturing another Big 8 title. By the final game of the regular season, Tommy was cleared to play, but he was held out. The Coin Huskers, who were number one team in the country, wanted to give Frazier a month to get ready for Miami and the national championship game. In the Orange Bowl, Tommy started but he didn't look like himself against Miami defense. After throwing an interception, he was replaced by Beringer, who had carried Nebraska for most of the year. Beringer didn't do much better. With 12 minutes left and Nebraska down eight, Osborne turned back to Tommy. Nearly 100 days after being diagnosed with a blood clot, Tommy Frazier had the ball back in his hands with a chance to win the national championship. Option, Frazier keeps. He played only five games that season, but Tommy and Nebraska were national champions. With the blood clot issue behind him, 
Tommy returned to Nebraska in 1995 with one goal, to play the entire season and repeat as a national champion. He started things off with the bang. In a season opening win against Oklahoma State, Frazier scored three touchdowns, including a 76-yard bomb, the longest of his career. From there, through the end of the season, it was all Tommy all the time. He finished a regular season with a career high, 1,362 yards, passing, and 17 touchdowns. His list of honors was endless. Big 8 Offensive Player of the Year, First Team All Big 8, Consensus First Team All-American. He was awarded the Johnny United's Golden Arm Award for his performance on the field and his character off of it. Finally, he was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy, finishing second to future NFL star Eddie George. Only one thing remained, the Fiesta Bowl in the National Championship. Tommy and the undefeated number one ranked Cornhuskers undefeated. Second ranked Florida. At first, Nebraska had his hands full and trailed 10 to six at the end of the first quarter. But from there on, it was all Cornhuskers. They scored 29 unanswered points in the second quarter. Tommy put on a show. The play known simply as the run was later named one of the greatest plays in college football history. Well, all three of their tailbacks are over seven yards per carry average. Frazier heading more numbers, more yards to those big numbers. Oh, they don't have them yet. Look at Tommy Frazier. How many tackles can one man break? Touchdown. Nebraska won the Fiesta Bowl 62 to 24, and with it, back-to-back -back national titles. Tommy was named the game's MVP. Tommy Frazier finished his four-year college career with 33 wins and three loss record. He only lost one regular season game during that time, back when he was a freshman. He led Nebraska to four straight Big Eight titles, three straight national championship games, and two national titles. And he was the only player to ever win three straight national championship MVP awards. Next stop was the NFL. But that's not how things would work out. Frazier would go on to the NFL Combine. And during tests, it would be revealed to him that the blood clots in his legs had returned. In March of 1996, he spent 11 days in the hospital. When the NFL draft arrived, Frazier went undrafted. Tommy tried to catch on with the Canadian football team, but his health issues continued. Eventually, his doctor told him he'd be risking his life if he kept playing football. In late 1996, at the age of 22, Tommy Frazier retired. Later in life, Tommy learned blood clots were a side effect of Crohn's disease. He remained a spokesperson for the disease ever since. The history of the sport is riddled with stories of what ifs, but this one truly stands out. Tommy Frazier was dynamic and tough. He set records, he won championships. He was made for the NFL and didn't have a chance to show it which lead us all to have to wonder, what if? One thing's for sure, Tommy Frazier is a legend.